video is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to if you want to set up your own slick looking website or online store. Recently I was sent a box that apparently didn't contain a phone inside the box, was a box, and inside the box was another box, and inside that smaller box was in fact a phone. Those crazy funsters at Sony. The Xperia Pro was a phone that I'd gotten pretty excited about before, and what's not to get excited about? It's a phone with an HDMI socket. It's not just another phone that looks like another phone made by someone else that looks like a phone made by someone else. And unlike the headphone jack, which has been taken away from so many people's lives and then put back for people to get excited about, the HDMI socket was never meant to be on the phone. But you know, why not? The screen like the one you have on the Xperia Pro is pretty special. It's a 21 by 9, 6.5 inch 4K HDR OLED. Which not only sounds nice, but it is very nice. Unless you're watching this video from, say, 2022, in which case, one, hello person from the future, and two, you're watching a video about an old product. But who knows, maybe this phone will still be interesting in years to come because this might be the only phone to ever bother putting an HDMI port on the phone. Specs-wise, it's essentially an Xperia 1, 2 without a name that makes it sound like you're doing a mic check. Pro means more RAM, more storage, antennas on all sides of the device, and that HDMI port, of course. Oh, and a professional grade pricing of $2,500 or 2,300 shining sterlings. That really needs to be put in bold. Large fonts and underlined. I mean, I didn't know about that when I was getting all giddy about the Xperia Pro. My bank balance would have just torn itself a new orifice instantly just thinking about the price tag. But it's not just the price of it. It's the thought of 2022 person thinking the Xperia 2, or where it is, has so many more new features than 2021 Xperia Pro. If there is an Xperia Pro 2. But for what it's worth, even if the price doesn't add up for you, as a monitor, for connecting to a camera, it makes a lot of sense. You can save a bit of space in your bag, not having to carry an additional screen and set of batteries. And with the beefy 4000 mAh battery, it does last a few hours as a monitor, even on full brightness. Although it doesn't really feel that bright. But you know, it does look good, it works with other cameras that aren't Sony, and has a few basic features. No frills, just frame lines and other lines. If you want some of the other features that you get on, say, an Atomos Shinobi, like false colour, peaking, zebra, Google Translate says that's zebra in American, then that is all dependent on your camera. Dependent in the sense that you have to use your camera, because even if it's glowing red like a pandemic map on the screen of your camera, it will still look like the pandemic map according to the WHO on the screen of your Xperia Pro, even if you choose to output exactly what's on your camera screen. It's fairly standard stuff as a monitor, but it does have a useful poke to punch in poke to punch. The screen never seems really that bright, but it's mostly fine and relatively glare-free. But in some ways, it's not really worth comparing it to a proper monitor. An Xperia Pro is for convenience. A proper monitor, small or big, should offer the best visual tools for making sure you can nail focus, exposure and perfect your framing. The monitor app on the Xperia Pro is not going to fill your vision with a far bigger image, but you know, it works and it's a phone, so it's always with you. Although interestingly, there's slightly less lag than Xperia Pro versus a Shinobi. No need to get too excited about getting less laggy window cleaning monitor action though, there's only 0.02 seconds in it. But to think of this as just a phone of monitor capabilities would be totally missing the point. It bridges your camera to a 5G connection, so it's good for live streaming from anywhere that has 5G coverage. In the UK, they've been rolling out 5G like you'd roll out a carpet on a mildly steep incline. It's a number of big towns and they've started to cover some crap towns, which is always a good sign that progress is being made when it's in the crap towns. It's a fantastic thing, the ability to use a proper camera to go live on the go, and is modelled by Jason Vong, who's always excited to go live. Oh, I remember he's so excited to go live once he didn't even realise the embargo hadn't been lifted yet. Oh, what a rebel. So just who exactly is the Pro for? Is it for Pro? Well, probably not, because they're quite a pragmatic bunch. They'd rather buy a boring black box because maybe it's cheaper, it's more rugged, it's more tough, and it's got interchangeable batteries. This is a flattened black box, albeit an interesting one, because it's a phone! At least I think it is. The Xperia Pro is still a slick idea. The use of a wired connection to your phone would make a lot of internet-y people's work more solid, and is especially useful if you need to transmit images, still or moving, as slickly and quickly as possible. Certainly, it seems like camera brands are heading in a direction to implement the best way of bringing something like live to their cameras, via a smartphone of course, as elegantly as possible. 
possible. And for now, while we're still mildly excited by wires, the Xperia Pro is as elegant a solution as you're gonna get. There is every chance that no one else will ever bother putting an HDMI input in a phone again. Even though it'll work with other cameras, the Xperia Pro is a Sony statement in the art of Sonyism. It's a bosh in your face, we did it first product, but it's also made to try and make the whole Sony ecosystem more complete. A phone to connect together all the other Sony devices. This is something that no other company can do. The idea of the Xperia Pro was amazing when I first learned about it, and it still is now. It's just that it comes at a time when the world is not necessarily thinking, you know what, I'm just gonna splurge 2K on a brand new phone. Sony have been pumping out some cool kit recently, whether it be cameras, lenses, or PlayStations, and some of them are hard to obtain, some expensive to obtain, and the Xperia Pro is just a little bit more than what the average person will want to spend. It's not an average phone, sure, but for those who only dip their toes in live video every now and then, it might be harder to justify dipping one's hands in your pockets to get one of these. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to set up your own domain, online retail space, or website, it's super simple to get started and make your next move with Squarespace. With an easy to use interface filled with loads of templates and backed up with 24 seven customer service, you can try it out with a 14 day free trial and get 10% off your first order with this link and discount code.